too much of this shit, I don't need it. I turned on the cash with a nickel plate. I sit back and back on these niggas trading. Mentally none of this shit can fake. Mentally none of this shit can fake. I came out of the trenches, I really made it. Just got free shit from the Atlanta Hawks, people. I think these are Atlanta Hawks cheerleaders. But they just gave us some free shit. Just have to post on the social media. Hey, free stuff. Gotta love it. Atlanta Hawks, baby. Anyways. Doing the overhead press. Starting with these odd shape, you know, organization of weights because I'm working out with Wilson. So, he's actually doing really well, man. Uh, really improving. He's he's almost at 95 pounds, believe it or not. That's, that's actually really hard for a beginner. But anyway, doing 135 right now. I envisioned it today. I was like, I'm going to go for a personal record today. But it wasn't until I hit, what, like 145? I was going to go for 150, but then I was like, hey, that's only five away, or that's what I hit last week, so I'm going to increase it by five pounds, and I did it, so I did 155 today, now we're doing the 100 pound dumbbell, I did 95 pounds last time, and this time, I'm hitting like six reps over here, Wilson barely helped me, by the way, doing another set, another 100, Shit feels easy after you do the first set, you know. And another one. Guys, please concentrate if you're going heavy, guys. You guys are gonna throw out throw your shoulder out. I've done it before. It's not fun. Doing some rear delt work now. Um, definitely always load it up, guys. Try to do progressive overload. The first set is always important on these because, you know, you get warmed up and everything. And it gets you ready for the heavier weight. This, man, I said it in my last video, and I'm going to continue doing this. Very effective workout. It's because you're not throwing the weight in any other direction but towards the ceiling. And you get to do the wide grip. Maybe you just have the regular grip at your gym, but my gym just got this wide grip extended bar and it's freaking awesome. I love using it. Use it for this rear delt work exercise. Uh, guys, I know this is an odd workout. I <laughs> I invented this my, myself, by the way. Uh, you want to adjust it so it feels right. Maybe right at your crotch, you know, where your hips are for the height of the adjustment. Or else it's not going to feel right. If it's too low, it's going to feel weird. So, you're hitting your rear delts and your rear traps with this, so it, it gives me a crazy pump. Try it out. This is staple. I almost completely just stopped doing these seated lateral raises because these are just so freaking effective. It's so hard, and I'm only using like 15, progressing up to 20 pounds. Very difficult. And you know what that means, usually when it's difficult, it means you're doing work. And guys, make sure you're looking to, to the side that you're doing it on, like a crosshair, so you know that you're going completely to your side. Sometimes I find myself going forward a little bit, you know, because it's hard and, you know, when your body just adjusts because it's struggling. Make sure you're doing the right direction. Don't be going off in an angle and working your front delt more. That's what this exercise is for, you know? So I'm doing some, uh, what do they call it? Someone commented in the comment section. They're like, oh, upright row. These are great. Try them out, guys. So over here, the guy in the black, the reason I'm recording is because he was a dick, but the guy in the black, he was like, how long y'all gonna be on this thing? Because we were just there doing the front delt with exercises. And I was like, hey, we got like four more sets, man. Um, and he was like, fuck. And we're like, uh, all right. And now he's doing this like super, super weird looking spot. Like if you're going to do that, just, just lighten up the weight. Hey, Atlanta Hawks, free shit. What up? Free towel. ATL ho. Hawks.com.
So the SRT Challenger got rims again and he got Vossens. I think he was looking at mine and decided not to go to, with Forgiados. So me and Wilson heading to Korean barbecue right now. What the hell is this person doing? Just stopping in the middle of the road. But anyway, we're going to Korean barbecue. I'm gonna eat as much as fucking possible because it's coming to the end of my bulk. And even though there's a lot of joys in bulking, uh, I really have some annoyances with bulking. And it's definitely eating a lot when I'm not eating out. Um, I'm breaking out like crazy these days and it's just time consuming. Like I'm, all, I'm so ready to start cutting and just, you know, just focus on looking good. Cause also when I look in the mirror, I don't like looking fat. I've always tried to look, uh, you know, shredded or ripped. So it's, it's, uh, it's definitely not, a, I wouldn't say depressing feeling, but it's, it's not a good feeling. <laughs> Rather be fucking shredded. And um, I'm gonna do cardio a lot, but now I'm just gonna go enjoy myself and try to eat a goddamn fuck ton of brisket, beef brisket. Okay. You're gonna be in my movie. Movie? Yep. <laughs> that real wood. Brisket in the pork belly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is our server. No, no. <laughs> this is how you use chopstick, guys. You only move one chopstick. That's the key. Some good ass kimchi. But I can't let y'all know where I'm at. Because this place is exclusive. Only for the realists. You know what I'm saying? If you're from Atlanta, you can take a guess. Maybe you recognize that picture on the wall. Or these, uh, these vents. But you know, I can't I can't disclose that to y'all. Just went to Nordstrom Rack. One of my favorite stores. Girlfriend shopping for this. And since I went to the gym with Wilson earlier, I didn't go with Diana, so she wants to go to the gym. So I'm going twice. Doing doing twice. I'm gonna do an arm workout, maybe some abs. Cause I got, I'm bulking. Gotta gotta put in that work. Ellie Fitness, home sweet home. All right, round two at the gym. Doing some arms. Just doing some bicep curls. Make sure you guys are going all the way up, guys. If you're gonna do this, do the correct form. I'm doing 40 pounds here, you guys. I'm not going heavy. I can do probably like 90 if I'm fresh, but. You know, just let go of the ego. The biceps are a very, very small muscle, and it really doesn't take much. You guys can actually just squeeze and get a good contraction. I'll do just as much as heavy weight. Now we're doing the supinated dumbbell curls. I'm using like, what, 20, 25 pounds? I can't really see it right now, but, you know, just get in the feel, just contracting and, you know, Try not to move the elbows too far up, but you know, it's impossible to do these full range without moving your elbows. Now we're doing the bicep curls. Yo, I used to do these the other way, where my legs don't have the cable in between. And when you're doing it just like I do the front delt exercise with the cable in between, it is so much better. Like, it's actually supposed to be done like this. If you guys ever do this, definitely do it with the cables in between. Now we're moving on to tricep exercise. This is one of my favorite tricep exercises, guys, and it's going to grow your long head a lot. And I'm telling you, because 
I have done many triceps exercises over the years and I just started doing this and I definitely feel bad about myself because I should have been doing this for a long time. So if you just started, definitely implement this into your workout. And don't do the double handed grip because that's easy because you get to apply two different forces and it holds it up. This actually requires much more stabilized muscles. Okay, this is the OG tricep exercise here. Keep the shoulder up, elbow suspended in the same spot. Make sure you have a good foundation with your knee and the other arm. And contract. That's all there is to it. Don't move that elbow, okay guys? Keep it suspended in the air. So, I'm at the liquor store. Gotta get some liquor because I'm not drinking for my whole cut. So, gotta enjoy this alcohol while I can. Yo. Are y'all reading this correctly? This shit says original gangster. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I should get it for kicks. Decided to get the Hennessy and the Heineken. You French and German people really know how to party. So I got a birch box for my sister. It's actually a good gift to get some. Finally got it open. Time to shine. Getting ready for summer. So let's see. They got me some English laundry. English cologne. laundry cologne. Some facial fuel, energizing face wash. That's cool. And Kiehl's. Kiehl's is actually really expensive. Oh, Anthony. Like Anthony's pretty expensive. Shaving cream. So the thing about birch box is it's just a bunch of small samples. So when, if you like one of them, you can go try it or go buy the big bottle. SPF, I guess this is like a low sunscreen. City sunscreen. Oh, what? They gave me a hat too. Perfect for babies. I C N Y Sport. That's that's what's up. Little snapback, black hat, swag. Balled out on this DiGiorno pizzeria. Never really tried it, but it's a dollar fifty more than the the normal one. So this is the Supreme Special Pizza. Preservative free crust, drizzled with extra virgin olive oil. Flavorful sauce made with California ripened tomatoes. So 350 calories, four servings. So what? That's 1400 calories. Looks like they just put some parsley on it. That's the only difference. The pizza is done. As you can see, baked perfection. Time to try it out. Definitely a lot softer crust, and overall, you know, the it's all in the dough, really, that's what I heard. What makes a pizza is the dough. Is it chewy? It's better than a normal one. And I'm eating some sushi. That seaside combo. What's up, Blake? You trying to hit this Hennessy? Hmm? What the hell are you looking at? <clears throat> it's April 29th right now. Tomorrow's April 30th, so my very last day of bulking. I think I did really well this bulk season too. You know, it's only four to five months bulking, but um, you know, I increased my strength a lot, hitting, you know, 125 pound dumbbells on everything, bench press, or you know, dumbbell press, um, lat pulls, hitting the 100 pound um, shoulder dumbbell military press too. So cheers. Appreciate a thousand subscribers and everything. Everything is going good right now.
Appreciate it, y'all. Subscribe, like. See y'all soon.